Well, hello there, and welcome to another episode of The Lawn Care Nut. Now, today's episode is not sponsored by Toro, but it comes as a result of the relationship I've got going with them on some other sponsored material. I asked them if I could make this video to help answer some common questions that their customers have in regards to personal pace. So with that, let's get right out onto my back porch with my co-host, the 22-inch Personal Pace Recycler with Smart Stove. Ron Kiernut, take it away, buddy. What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So as you guys may or may not know, I've been working with Toro. Over the last few months, we're creating some different campaigns that we're gonna be launching here in the spring. In the meantime, though, during one of the discussions that we were having, like a brainstorming session, I was telling the folks at Toro, I was like, you know, I've been using a Toro Super Recycler for a long time. Now I've got the Smart Stow here. I am like a super huge fanboy of the personal pace. I really like the way it feels. I like the way it operates. I like the way it handles. I like, and so that kind of started up another discussion they said, hey, you know, sometimes we do get a lot of questions about the personal pace and there are some challenges that people sometimes have. Sometimes consumers don't realize that you can actually customize the way that the personal pace operates to fit your feel and your preferences. The idea being that personal pace is more than just the way that this handle moves up and down. Personal pace truly means that. Set it to your personal pace or your personal preferences. And so that's what we're gonna go over today is how you can customize the mower so that it runs the way you want it to. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna answer four questions today, four common questions, and all but one of them actually center around this knob, this adjustment knob here, and then the corresponding instructions that go with it. So that adjustment knob right there, that's gonna be the key to your success in the next three questions. Okay, so our first question comes from Justin in Montana. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not like that. All right, so when I push on the handle, the mower jumps quickly away from me. All right, so let's recreate that and then let's show you how to fix it. All right, so here I am trying to recreate it. I'm assuming that this is what people are experiencing when they think the mower is jumping away from them. And if this is happening, the first thing I would do is go back to that tension knob and I'd loosen it and move the cable down towards the turtle icon end. What that's gonna do is it's just gonna loosen the tension a little bit and possibly give you a little bit easier glide off. But this next tip is probably a little bit more important than even that. Now then the next thing comes in the way that personal pace works. You actually don't have to push the handle at all. I don't want you to think that when you're going off that pushing this handle is a separate motion or a separate action. It's actually part of a fluid motion of just walking. So just pretend that this is an extension of your hands and as you move you're not pushing it, you're just moving forward and this is moving with you. It is going to move down a little bit of course, but I don't want you to help it. I want you to let it go down on its own based on your personal pace moving forward this will respond properly. Now once you get used to just the motion of the personal pace itself without pushing down but just walking forward, you may find then that you want to adjust the tension back up to give you a little bit more speed at takeoff. So the next question can happen with any self-propelled mower once it's been used for many years and that is, my personal pace is broken, it won't self-propel anymore. And I can tell you that nine times out of 10, again, this is just a tension adjustment. It's just gotten loose over time and you probably haven't realized it because it's gradually gotten more and more loose until it just doesn't work anymore. Now you're realizing it because it's not going anywhere. Now it's time to just adjust that tension back up again. Now the next question is one that really gets into the customization part. My personal pace is too responsive or not responsive enough. Or sometimes it's worded like, I want my personal pace to be less responsive or more responsive. And again, that goes back to that tensioning knob. So I think you've figured it out by now that adjusting this tension knob is the key to success here. Moving up towards the turtle will give you a little bit easier, slower takeoff and landing and going a little bit more towards that rabbit might give you a little bit bigger of a jump start. But there's one more customization piece that I wanna show you. And it's a small adjustment that actually can make a huge difference in the comfort of your personal pace mower. I wanted to go ahead and pause here just for a second because real quick while we're talking about it, there's another way that you can customize the mower that may also help some of these challenges that we're talking about today. And that is that you can adjust the angle of the handle just a little bit.
So you actually have two settings, one, two. And you may not think that that little bit of difference, that that little bit is gonna affect it, but just that little bit of change when you get up higher up here, it really does. This is significantly, this has brought this significantly lower. And the reason that's important is because I talk about when you're using this, you're not pushing down on the self propulsion. You're actually just walking forward naturally. And so sometimes if you can adjust the angle of the handle a little bit, that may fit more into your natural way that you just walk forward. You see, because the real key to comfort with any mower is where does the handle hit you in your hands? I like my hands to be a little bit up above my waist. I feel like I have better control there and I can steer better. And so therefore I have the ability to set the handle higher and you can see that small adjustment. Look at the difference in where it hits on my body at the lower adjustment versus the higher adjustment. That small little bit can make all the difference in how good and how comfortable you feel at takeoff. Okay, and then our last question actually has to do with backing up. And I have experienced this before, but I knew exactly what to do, and now I'm gonna teach you. And the question is, it's hard to pull the personal pace mower backwards sometimes when I get into a corner or a tight spot, where basically the wheels won't let me back up. So there are times when you're going, 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 right? And you have to stop, and then you need to back up. And what'll happen is one of the wheels, or both of the wheels, will lock up and won't let you back up. When that happens, it just means you need to let the wheels roll out a little bit further just to fully disengage everything. Just because you've disengaged up here, there's other linkage that also needs to roll itself out so that it frees up those wheels. So if you notice that happening, when you go to stop, just let off the personal pace handle a little earlier and then just push it on out like that and then you'll back up just fine. And one last thought before we end this video, you're not gonna have to make adjustments like this all the time, every single mowing. I probably adjust mine maybe twice a year at the most just to make sure that I'm getting the maximum feel out of the mower because once you've used it for a long time, you can sometimes get used to things being a little bit loose as we mentioned before. So it's always best to go ahead and adjust that tensioner just a little bit here and there every once in a while to see if you can get improved performance. So I hope that this video has been helpful to you, help you get more out of your Toro personal pace mower. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. As always, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the lawn.